heritage, a miraculous collection of life, our priceless biodiversity. This is our Australian coastline. And this is the story of the Little Turn, an international traveller who visits our sandy shores every summer. Like many Australians, Little Turns head for the beach. But unlike us, they've travelled thousands of kilometres to get here, leaving their tropical feeding grounds in eastern Indonesia, the Philippines and Japan. Australia has international responsibilities to look after Little Turns. However, all is not well, as Little Turn numbers have declined to a level where they are at risk of extinction. Little Turns are now listed as an endangered species. Well, the uh, total number of birds in New South Wales is, is in the hundreds of birds, but they're not all breeding birds. What we're interested in is the birds that actually breed here that are going to increase their flock numbers. Within the whole state, there are probably only around about 200 odd breeding pairs, uh, which is you know, half of uh, what the levels were back in the 1950s. The Little Tern is the smallest Australian member of the Gull and Tern family. 25 centimetres long, with a wingspan of 50 centimetres, it's white in colour with pale blue-grey wings and back and has a black cap and white forehead. When breeding, its bill is bright yellow with a black tip. Little Terns love the sand. Social creatures, they typically take up residence in colonies, on a sand island in an estuary, or on a sand spit between a lake and the sea. They often return to the same site year after year. There are little turn breeding sites all along the New South Wales coast. However, there are a few sites of particular importance. This is the story of one such site. Every year, round about the 1st of November, the little terns arrive here from the north and they come here to breed on this beach and they make a nest which is just a small hole in the uh, shell grit or sand. They lay one to three eggs. They raise their young and by about the first week of March the young are all fully fledged and the birds leave again and the next year the process continues. They come back and, and they breed on this beach. Little terns feed during the day in estuaries and just beyond the breaker line, diving for small fish such as whitebait. Little terns have no trouble finding a mate or laying eggs. The problem with little terns is that their nests are so easily disturbed. They're very difficult to uh, detect on the beach. The, the eggs are camouflaged to blend in with the shell grit and sand, and uh, the chicks are uh, likewise very hard to see. And people inadvertently walk on, on them and crush the eggs and kill chicks. Eggs and chicks also make tasty morsels for foxes, cats, rats, dogs and other birds. Even ants and crabs have a go. But that's not all. Nature also takes its course. King tides, stormy seas and heavy rain in the coastal hinterland can wash away entire nesting colonies. People have come together to discuss and plan ways to help the little turn. Activities which help protect the birds during this critical phase of their life cycle include fencing off breeding areas, baiting for predators such as foxes, and monitoring bird movements, habits and breeding success. The electric fence is the most effective method of keeping foxes away from turn nests. Because foxes eat both eggs and chicks, we do bait when the need arises in the bushland near the, the colony. And, uh, between the fence and the, and the bait stations, we, you know, we maintain a control on fox numbers here. You may notice bands of volunteers helping protect little turn nesting sites. They help erect fences, observe and count the numbers of nests, eggs, chicks and fledglings. They also spread the message about little turn conservation. By protecting little terns, we're also enhancing the survival of other threatened shorebirds, such as oyster catchers and plovers, who share these beaches and estuary habitats. But little terns especially need all beachgoers to take care and be aware. 
Stay outside fenced off areas, take notice of warning signs and try to keep off sand islands that may be important refuges. If you're fishing or prawning at night, make sure the area is not a little tern nesting site. And if you do see little terns nesting in an unmarked area, or if you notice a breeding site may be in danger, contact a ranger or the nearest National Parks and Wildlife Service office. Enjoy your next visit to the beach and share it with a shorebird. Our sandy shores, an environment to be treasured.